Alright, as you want to know, there's a lot of people who play on console a lot, whether it be by preference or not able to afford a PC, which most setup videos online are tailored for PC gaming instead of console. But with the PS5 and Xbox Series X on the way, there's going to be people looking to improve their setups. What's up guys, Prada J here, and this is the ultimate budget console setup guide of 2020. Alright, now first things first, let's talk about controllers, because as you all know, controllers are pretty much the main way gamers play on their consoles, which if you didn't know already, there's actually many ways you can customize your controllers like mods, which when people talk about controller mods, the main thing that comes to mind are scuff controllers, as they offer paddles on the back that can be mapped out to different buttons, allowing for better movement in games. But if you know scuff gaming controllers, they can be quite expensive, costing from $140 to even over $200 depending on cosmetics. Now, unless if you're an esports player or just a diehard scuff fan, you're probably going to want to find a cheaper alternative, which I did some research and found a great alternative from a company called Collective Minds. They made an add-on mod pack for both the PS4 and Xbox One controllers, which include four mappable paddles on the back and it's easy to install into your controller. And the best part about this is that it only costs about $40 depending on the version that you get. So if you're running on a budget, this is definitely a great choice. Now I will mention that there are other alternatives for back button attachments and controller sites in general but I will be sure to link them all down below so you guys can decide what's the best fit for you. Up next, let's talk about Control Freaks, aka Thumbstick Extenders. So unless you've been living under a rock for the past few years, you would know that Control Freaks are Thumbstick Extenders that help add more control to your analog sticks, leading to better accuracy in games. And this is because of the added height, as it allows for less force needed to move the analog stick, and you're provided with a larger range of movement available. And I forgot to mention that because Control Freaks allow for less force needed, you can play your games at a higher sensitivity with the same control as before, which if you're still curious on how they work, I'll be sure to leave some links to some explanation videos down below. But some of you guys may be wondering at how much Control Freaks actually cost. Well, you can get them for about $15 online, which is pretty cheap in my opinion. But suppose you want to opt for something slightly cheaper. Well, you can pick up some rubber thumbstick extenders on Amazon for about $10 and they come in a pack of 8 with both concave and convex styles, which I've actually been using these rubber extenders for about 2 years now and I can definitely vouch for them, but I do plan on possibly getting some Control Freaks sometime in the future just because they have different colors and styles available. But overall, if you want to improve your aim of your controller, I would highly recommend getting some thumbstick extenders. And before I move on to the next tip, come join my Discord server as I'm currently giving away 5 copies of Among Us to 5 random members of my server. And this giveaway is going to end in a week from now, so if you want the chance to win, you can join my server using the link down below. Next up, you're going to need a high quality monitor for your setup, which I know there's people out there that play on TVs and instead, but if you're planning on playing competitively in games like Modern Warfare, Rainbow Six Siege, or even Fortnite, you're going to want to opt for a monitor instead as they're much more responsive than TVs when it comes to response time, they have higher refresh rates available, and are in general cheaper when it comes to pricing. Also, although the PS4 and Xbox One output a max refresh rate of 60Hz, keep in mind that the next gen consoles are going to have a max refresh rate of 120Hz, so to make up for it, it would be recommended to get a 144Hz monitor to utilize the refresh rate. So after going over all that, when looking for a monitor, you ideally want one that's about 24 inches as that's the recommended size, has a resolution of 1080p or higher, a response time that's less than 5 milliseconds, and a refresh rate of 144Hz if you plan on getting either the PS5 or Xbox Series X within the next year or two. So just like before, I've researched a bit and found some monitors with refresh rates of 144Hz, which in general, you can get a 144Hz monitor for about $150, which in all honesty is a great deal as getting a monitor is an investment and will last a long time. Not to mention that if you have a PC or plan on getting a PC anytime soon, you'll be able to use a monitor for that as well. And if you want to know more details on any of the monitors shown, the links will be down below. The next thing you're going to need for a console setup is good audio. Now if you watch any videos going over headphones, you would know that it's better to go with a good pair of headphones over a headset most of the time. But the main issue with this is that you're going to have to do something about a mic, which this is the main reason why most console users users go with a headset, as you're getting a pair of headphones with a microphone, and despite the wide range of expensive headsets like the Astro A50s or the higher end Logitech Pros, there are a good range of budget headsets that you can get like the SteelSeries Arctis 1s, HyperX Cloud Stingers, or even the Corsair HS60 Pros, which all average about $50. But the one thing that I don't really like about gaming headsets, especially the higher end ones, is that most of the time, they lack in mic quality. So what exactly can you do about this? Well one thing I would recommend getting is the 
mod mic, which if you don't know what a mod mic is, it's basically a detachable microphone that you can attach to any pair of headphones, turning it into a great headset. And I would highly recommend checking out Bad C Tech's video going over mod mics as he showcases all the different mics that you can get. And overall, it's just a great review video in general. But to summarize this, I'll be sure to link down below some good budget headsets, but if you already have a good pair of headphones and just need a microphone, I'll be sure to leave links down below to some mod mics and Bad C Tech's video review on them. Up next, if you're planning on being a content creator or streamer, you're gonna want to get a capture card to record your gameplay, especially if you're a console player. Now I know there's people out there that are gonna say that you can record gameplay using the software already built into the console, which it's not bad, but there is a quality difference that makes it like night and day. But if you're really running on a budget, it's alright to use it, but if you're looking to record or stream your gameplay with better quality, I highly recommend getting a dedicated capture card from Elgato, but more specifically the HD60S, as it's the most recommended capture card for 1080p 60fps recording. But keep in mind that this is going to cost around $150. So if you do get it, it's going to be an investment. And there are other capture cards available like Avermedia, Media for example, which I will link other alternatives down below. But I mostly just recommend getting Elgato as it's widely used and trusted by many content creators. And finally, when it comes to a good console setup, it's going to be accessories and just customization in general. And this can range from getting different skins for your controllers or consoles to even getting some RGB lights for your setup. Which which, trust me, a lot of people kind of overlook this because they're mostly looking for products that add usability to their setups like Control Freaks. But it can definitely be helpful to add different things into your setup for style and personality because it doesn't cost that much to add a skin to your controller for like 10 bucks or getting some cheap RGB lights for around the same price. You could even make your setup even more unique by adding a collection of some kind like pop finals of your favorite game or TV show, adding some posters to your walls, and way more. And if you're interested in learning more tips about improving your gaming setup, I highly recommend recommend checking out my setup hack series as I include many different tips for improving your gaming setups whether it's a PC setup or just a console setup. So if you're interested in learning more about the things I talked about I'll be sure to link everything down below. But after going over all that that'll be the end of my ultimate budget console setup guide of 2020 which looking back through everything I said I believe all these tips can help anyone improve their console setup no matter the budget. Now of course if you have a bigger budget than most you're going to be able to get more out of your setup than others. But if you find yourself not being able to afford some items you may want, like maybe you don't have enough to get a good monitor, I would highly recommend that you make a list of all the things that you want, figure out the cost of each item, and then figure out which item would be the most important to work towards. Which I've used this method a lot for equipment since it did take a long time for me to get some of the stuff I have today. So if you find yourself to be in that predicament, I would highly recommend that you make a list. And before I end off the video, I do want to mention that because some of the equipment is from Amazon, the prices are always subject to change and certain products may run low in stock depending on the time and date, so I would recommend getting whatever items you want as fast as possible before the prices or stock changes for the worst. But I think that's gonna wrap it up and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and so drop a like and subscribe if you're new as I do love making budget videos like this one. Also if you guys can, comment down below what you would recommend getting for a console setup as I know everyone have their own ideas on how to improve some setups. So leave your comments down below as I wanna hear what you guys have to say and because I do love responding to everyone's comments. Also do me a favor and come join my discord because I definitely wanna grow my community and I'm gonna be doing giveaways in there as well. Well. So if you're interested in joining, there'll be a link in the description. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and be sure to have notifications on so you won't miss any of my videos. My name's Prada J, and as always, stay classy.